Welcome to our second lesson on functions. In this lesson, we shall look at how to find the range of a function given the domain. Okay. So let's start with a linear function. When we say that a function is linear, it means that the highest power of the x is 1. Okay that makes it a linear so when the highest power of the x is more than one then that is called a non-linear function so we have an example here p of x is equal to x minus 5 defined on this domain okay and we are told to find the range so what do we do since it is a linear function the, the approach is quite straightforward Use the two extremities as the input for this function. They produce some um, output, and those outputs will be used to form your range. All right. So let's see how that is done. So we we'll use the first extremity, which is negative two, as our input. So we put negative two into this function, and then we get negative seven. All right. Then we put the second extremity into the function and then we get two so now we have an output of negative seven when we have an input of negative two and then an output of two when the input is seven how do we form our range given our answers this is how you state the range so the p of x which is the function now lies between negative seven and two okay so this is how you state the range and you are done it's pretty straightforward you use the extremities to find your various outputs and they will give you the range straight away let's consider another example so find the range of f of x if the function is defined as this okay based on this domain so like we did in the first example we'll put the first extremity which is zero into the function to see the output it will give us so an input of zero gives an output of two how about five an input of five gives an output of 17 all right so how do we define the range so the range of the function is given as this all right f of x is less or less than 17 but greater or equal to 2 all right now at this juncture i would like you to practice these questions all right after which we move on to the non-linear like i said from the beginning of this lesson Non-linear means it has its highest degree of more than one, okay? And that is the power. All right, so let's consider this example. X squared. This is a cubic, I'm um, sorry, a quadratic function, all right? Now, it is being defined on this domain. And then we are told to find the range. Now, don't do this. What are we saying? We are saying that don't put the two extremities into the function and then say that the range will lie between 4 and 9. Why? Let's see. So let's go and sketch this function. All right. Let's sketch this function. Now, when we sketch this function, this is what we have. All right. Now, remember that it was defined on the domain negative 2, 2, 3. So the numbers under consideration are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So you can decide to sketch. And when you sketch, this is how it will look like. Now, if you are not conversant with curve sketching, then this is what you should do. You draw your X and Y plane, then 
you input negative 2 into the function remember it's the curve of what x squared so every number is squared so 2 will give you negative 2 will give you 4 negative 1 will give you 1 0 will give you 0 1 will give you 1 2 squared will give you 4 and 3 squared will give you 9 okay then use a smooth curve through all right and you are done this is how it will look like now the range of a function is basically the height of the function on the y-axis okay so from the highest number to the lowest number and the lowest number is zero all right hence the range of the function is between zero and nine all right that is the main reason why if you are to use only negative two and three you'll be wrong you would say that the range is between four and nine so it will be best for you to draw or just list all the domain and then look at the trend and you will see the minimum number which is zero and then the maximum number which is nine to state the range when you are dealing with a non-linear function all right so clearly it would be erroneous to say that the range is this why because when we sketch or when we use all the domain in question we know that this will be the range let's consider another example now the function is defined as g of x is equal to x squared minus 4 and now we are told that the domain is it belongs to all sets of real numbers okay so what does this mean all sets of real numbers it means that we can start from negative infinity to zero and then from zero to positive infinity how would this help us now look at the function well x squared it means that whether you use a negative number or a positive number the answer is always going to be positive because it is squared for example negative 2 squared will give you 4 all right negative 3 squared will give you 9 so whether it is a negative number you use or a positive number you are going to get a positive number why because the x is squared all right so any number other than zero that we use this part is going to be positive but if you put zero here what would you get zero squared is zero and zero minus four is negative four but any other number that you put here your answer will be more than negative four this tells you that the minimum number you can get is negative four hence the range of the function is negative 4 and that is why I did a little bit of calculation here to help you see if you put negative 3 into the function you get an output of 5 and when you put a positive 4 into the function you have an output of 12 so whether it's a negative number or a positive number the answer you will get is more than negative 4 hence the range is stated as this all right look at this question too so you have um, f of x being defined as this one thing you should know is that this is squared hence your answer is always going to be positive okay it is always going to be positive because it is squared our job is to find a range there's a shortcut that i would give whenever a quadratic has been expressed in this form this form is normally called the completing square form okay it has been completed all right the range is just the number here all right it's just the number here how do we know this okay this is a positive um, quadratic function so it will have a minimum value and the minimum value will occur at the point x equals 1 okay 
how do I know this? Because I will look at the range, look at the range, the domain that was given. It says when x is greater or equal to 1. So put 1 here. If you put 1 here, this whole thing will be 0. Alright? And what will be the next, the, the outcome? If this is 0, 0 plus 5 is what? It's 5. But when I input 2, so 2 minus 1 will give me 1. And 1 squared is 1 plus 5 is what? It's 6. When I input 3, what will I get? I'll get 3 minus 1, which is 2. But 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 5 will give me 9. So in all cases, the minimum number I can get is 5. So don't waste your time. As soon as you see a function as this, then the range could be stated as f of x is greater or equal to 5 because that will be the minimum number or value that you will get. All right, let's look at this function. Now, this function is defined on this domain, okay? And like I said, you can decide to list all the elements in this domain and then put those elements into this function one by one. And you'll be able to state your range or you will just see that like I told you in the last example whenever a function has been expressed in this form know that the range is the constant there all right the range is this constant how do we know this let's say we input 2 into the function we have an answer of what of 9 Let's move on to the next number. Remember, this is from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 up to 7. Okay? So, from 2, we input 3. What do we get? 10. Let's jump straight to 7. What will 7 give? 7 will give negative 4. So, what can we see? So, as we increase, we could see that the only biggest number of value is what? Is 10 all right and it occurs when x equals 3 therefore the range is all the numbers are less or equal to 10 okay because this is 9 which is less than 10 this is 10 which is equal to 10 this is negative 4 which is less than 10 in fact you can even put 5 there when you put 5 here 5 minus 3 will give you 2 and 2 squared is 4 now 10 minus 4 will give you 6 so clearly all the numbers will be less or equal to 10 all right so you can do this practice on your own write all the elements in this domain and then input them into the function one by one and you realize that the biggest number is 10 hence the range could be stated this way so i would like you to pause and then solve this question. So f of x is defined as 3 plus root of x minus 2 when x is greater or equal to 2. You are told to find the range. Now the good news is x is greater or equal to 2. So when you put 2 here, what would you get? 2 minus 2, that will give you 0, right? And the square root of 0 is 0. So 3 plus 0 is 3. When you increase the number to 3, what would you get? You get 3 minus 2. And that is 1. Square root of 1 is still 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Therefore, the range, that is the range of this function, is f of x is greater or equal to 3. Why? Because the minimum, the lowest number you can get is 3 when x is what is 2 all right so in our next lesson we shall consider composite functions all right composite functions are functions that comprises of more than one function okay